All right, so here's the plan. Today we have a mashup of games. I'm gonna play four to be exact. Most of them are scary. I'd say actually every single one is scary. They kind of get like progressively more intense, not only in terms of jump scare, but also like realness, like on a very human level. You're gonna see like the final game, for instance, is gonna blow your mind. You're gonna be like, ah, oh, like why am I feeling things right now? But anyways, enough of me, at least in this format. Now I'm gonna become a small square and I'm going into gameplay mode with our first game, which is Maple County Interactive Training Tape which I have no idea what to expect. You guys told me to play this. You said it was going to scare the bejeebies out of me. I think that's verbatim. So let's play it. Attention Maple County Police Department. Please take a seat. Your training video will begin momentarily. Yes, sir. For this interactive training video, please remain seated. Okay. Pick up the remote on the table in front of you and give inputs when required. Thank you. Okay, I'm sitting down. I'm in my seat. I guess we're going to learn. The training video is brought to you by Maple County's Police Department. In this instructional video, you will learn about the current threats sweeping our state and how to protect yourself and citizens from this threat. We know very little about this threat, but as we learn and grow our knowledge, this threat will be removed in the following months. What is this the threat? has not revealed this threat, and everything you see in this training video is classified. Okay. Sharing this information with friends or loved ones is not permitted. Sure. Got it. Exercise one, assessing the threat. Here we go. On screen, two images will appear. On instinct alone, please choose the image that is the most unsettling. Yep. You will be scored at the end of this video. Unsettling. Okay. Ooh. So the guy on the left looks like Kevin Spacey, and then the girl on the right, something about her eyes, they just don't seem right. It feels like demon eyes. Is that right? Oh, it's like a whole thing now. Uh, so the guy on the right, dude, it's the eyes. Every time I look into the eyes, I feel like the eyes are the windows to the soul. So you're able to see whether or not somebody is like a good person. And that guy on the right, you know, that one meme of that lady, she's like, that person right there is not real. I don't care what you say. Like, I imagine she saw this guy. Is there only... Okay, definitely this ghost on the right. It looks like it's taken from like a insidious, like a screenshot. And then she went away, which I don't love, but it is what it is. That look like my house. Every time I see my old house, I feel sick to my stomach. I think there's somebody in my kitchen. That can't be. Just a game. Just a game. Congratulations, you passed the first exercise. Next, we will learn more on how to identify a threat. Reports have identified these characteristics. Lack of emotion and uncanny facial features. That is not a real person. Body language mirroring and verbal imitation. Lack of eye tracking and awkward movement. Unusable. What just happened? That looks like the guy from the dreams. You know, everyone's like, oh, have you seen this man in your dreams? I think somebody's in my bedroom. I mean, I'm in my bedroom. All right, so I think the game just glitched out. I don't know what's happening. And there's that same house again. It literally looks like a house in my neighborhood. I don't love that. Oh, it's interactive. Where should I go to? Kind of chilling. I feel like they want me to go here where the red light is illuminated. Kitchen dining set. Looks like they got it from West Elm. A yellow light. You know what they say, follow the light. Or I guess they don't say that. Well, it depends on what your goal is. Oh! Did you just... Did you see that person? Hey, honey. Can you come in my room? I, I fell down. I need help. I don't know if I want to go in here. Oh, no. No. I'm being tricked. I thought I was the police. What was that? 
I feel like Roger from American Dad. Uh, hi, so this could be nothing, but there's this really freaky dude that's been chasing my house, I think. <clears throat> well, uh, can you d describe him to me at least? Um, I mean, I mean it's, it's like pitch black outside, but um, I, I think he might be on like drugs or something. He's moving like really weird. <sighs> well, uh... Is he Isn't he right in front of me? I know, f you guys. F nothing happens out here. Just f send someone. Jesus, f I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just freaked out, man. It's just this shit never happened. Right, right, I'm down, bro. Right now. Um. Huh, Jesus. Like, he just, he just kind of. I mean, he definitely knows I'm looking at him, and he knows I'm calling the cops. So please, he'll f off. But I, I don't know. Something's just off. Oh, what's your address? It's uh, no road. Isn't he right in my face right now? Yeah, just, just try to hurry. Uh, my mom's passed out in the other room. I'm not trying to like wake her up and freak her out of the day she had. Yep, we'll see you soon. Okay, that's it. I think it's based on a, a true story, inspired by the Mandela Catalog by Alex Kister. Okay, no jump scares or anything. Now, whenever I record these really long videos, I obviously don't have time to leave my desk to do things like grocery shopping and cook. And for a while, I didn't have a great solution to this problem until I found Factor, which now serves as my go-to dinner solution. It's literally gourmet meals delivered right to your doorstep. Like yesterday, I had this chicken risotto that was absolutely delicious. So with Factor, I spend less time doing things like shopping, prepping, cooking, and cleaning, and can instead spend that time making more videos for you guys. The meals are ready in just two minutes. And that's it. Like there's no prep, no cleanup. It's a real treat. Also, I'm a pretty health conscious person who watches what goes into my body, but with Factor, they take all the guesswork out of clean eating and I can just eat one of their meals without a second thought. They have these calorie smart meals with around 550 calories or less per serving, which I definitely recommend if you're trying to watch what you eat with this fall coming up. Anyways, it's definitely worth trying. I think they're doing some great things over there and I'm happy to be partnering with them this week. So go ahead to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Sambucha50 for 50 50% off your first factor box. Anyways, back to the video. All right, so this next one is called The Onioning, and I have no idea what this is gonna be about. What is going on? In some, some room. Get up and look around. Clearly something has gone awry. Use Wasti to move. I love Wasti. Let's look around. All right. So if I'm doing a quick assessment, first of all, I don't know why I look in the mirror and I'm just black. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, I'm not black. Pretty nice bed. See what's inside of here. Can I interact with any of this? No, I can't. Game is fairly limited. Uh, can't open that either. So I guess all I could do is open this door. Pretty spacious apartment. Like a two bedroom, probably somewhere like in Texas. Not paying a lot. Oh! What just happened? Ooh. Who was that? Don't tell me this is who I think it is. It can't be. You assured me he was dead. I'm coming, Ogre. Okay. I didn't see if there's a head in here. No, nothing. Pretty Do I answer it? Of course, I don't have a door hole. My God. Gut says I should open it. Don't be him, don't be him, don't be him. Hello? I mean, there must have been somebody. I just get ding dong ditched. What? What is on the ground? Chills. Where am I? Why am I submitting and walking towards him? 
What's on the ground? I have so many questions. I really, I don't want to go to you, but I feel drawn to you, like this energy. Why do you look so small? <clears throat> Why am I going towards the light? Now what? Need a translator. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Sending chills down my spine. Okay. Everything's gonna be alright. So now I'm in some interrogation room of some sort. What do you want, Shrek? Let me out of here. No, it's not me who you want. I'm getting out of here, though. One way or the other. See the end right there. Door has blood near it. That's Donkey. It's Puss in Boots. Let's get out of here. She's getting kind of scared. Body dump? Not going near there. Alright. <gasps> okay. I gotta get out of here. I'd rather go to prison. No. Where do I go? Can I, is there anywhere for me to go? I don't know where I can escape to. <gasps> what happened? Am I back here now? I just want to escape. I just want to get out of here. That's all I want. Just let me get out of here. Listen, you could do whatever you want. I know you and Fiona, you guys have your thing. I just want to just leave from here. Unharmed is the goal. Unless I'm just in purgatory forever. There only seems to be one way out. And I know you're about to scare me. I know it. Oh, I, I go into here. Okay. Loading. Okay. I seem to have splashed in water, so I think I finally escaped him. In his hold. Definitely go in here. Ah, door. I'm finally free. Button. I should probably push it. Nothing's happening. Oh no, something is happening. What is this? DreamWorks Research? Oh, I'm at the lab where they created Shrek. Oh no, that's definitely copyright infringement. Note, I don't like this one bit. The boss said everything is fine, but Dave and I can see through his BS. Whatever we're creating, it's not safe at all. It's too dangerous to go through with, considering we're in a in sewer to do this research with no security. This whole thing is super shady. Whatever DreamWorks wants us to create, I don't want anything to do with it. Dave and I are going to tell the boss we're quitting tomorrow. Let's hope everything goes well. Oh, no. Escape from here. So I guess this is where he was born. Finally have some lore to him. Backstory. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Oh, no. He's doing too much damage in here. Here, Shrek. There's he. He's like Mewtwo. He escaped from the grips. Really nowhere for me. Talk. Ed. All right, I see how it is. Maybe you'll talk after this. What are you doing? Oh no, not a loading screen. That means I'm in another room now. Oh, you finally awoke. Good. Now let's try that again. Why were you in that godforsaken sewer? Okay, because I wanted to escape from Shrek's hold. That's so hard to understand. You still aren't gonna answer me? Why? Is it because you're scared, or do you just don't know how to? Or am Either I? Way, you've seen too much. No, I didn't- no, I, no. I promise I didn't see anything. Nothing of value. You? 
His name is Shrek, and he's something that can never be known to the public. We created him for DreamWorks. Why? Well, I don't even know that. Even though I was the quote-unquote boss. I was Bureaucracy, I get it, man. Taking orders from the higher-ups. And their orders were to make that damn order. It was stupid, I know, and I wound up having to kill poor old Dave and Martin. You know how many people you killed because of it? They never told me they were going to quit. I would have to kill them. They told me they couldn't risk Dave and Martin breaking their NDA, because if they did, DreamWorks would be 100%. And if I were to quit, or not do as I was told, they wouldn't kill me. Either way, I was... I had no choice. I remember the fateful day that their motor broke out. I was with a bunch of the higher-ups from DreamWorks, showing them the progress the three of us had made before I had to kill them. Then, well, something happened. Alright, this monologue's dragging on. We get it. You made Shrek, you didn't want to, and it's an unfortunate circumstance. But here we are. Everywhere. They tried the door, sealed shut. They tried to go, though the air ducts. Shrek just came after them and tore them. Show me him! I need to face him. I need to tell him something. I have something that's been on my mind for years and years, and I finally have the opportunity to tell him. To his face. Observing the ogre. Wait, what the... Oh, No. Alright, we definitely need to get rid of that copyright music in the background. I don't know what they're saying. Hey! End screen. So did I survive or did I die? A short game that took way too long to make. Well, we appreciate your efforts. This was a lot of fun. Alright, so next up is Initiation Man. I could have sworn this was Imitation Man, but I guess... I don't know. So, here we go. So, you would like to join our cult? I guess. <laughs> Looks like the Jabberwockies. Remember those First, guys? You will need to pass this test in order to prove your worth. Easy enough. It's a game. A simple game, really. You must guess the word by choosing the letters. For every correct choice, those letters will be revealed to you. So it's like Hangman. For every incorrect choice, you must take a drink of this toxic potion. <laughs> hmm. Okay, easy ah, enough. The seven I don't love your and laugh. The final sip of potion will be fatal. I wish you luck. All right. Let's see. So it's just a classic word game. So how many letters are we looking at here? It looks like 11 letters. What's a word that is 11 letters? You know, let's start off simple, right? The most common letter is E. Cool. I think there needs to be at least an A or an O somewhere within here. So I think we're safe to go with an A. Great. A and E. Okay. I feel like there's an O hidden in here as well. So let's keep beating the vowels. Yeah. Bud Light. I guess that's my sound. I, I mean, I could start doing some of the consonants, but I think I is a pretty safe bet here because you know there's going to be like one more. Good. Uh, I don't believe there's going to be any other vowels. So now, so in Jeopardy, or no, Wheel of Fortune, it's R-S-T-L-N. Those are like the most common consonants. So I, th I don't think we can go wrong with an R. All right. We have what? How many more? Six more drinks until we die. It is nice that he's giving it to me. You know, I could very easily just be like drinking it myself. Oh, let's go S. Can't go wrong, right? All right, I think what we do here is maybe like a T because A and T, doesn't it feel like there's a T in between here? What is this word? Is there Q's in this? So I think we go with an L. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Umbilical cord? I see like a B and a C somewhere, you know? Amp, it could be a P. We shouldn't sleep on the P. I'm gonna go with the C. Okay, ambivalence is the word. I'm, I'm positive, it's ambivalence. So let's get it right. Ambivalence. Excellent work. Woo. Now you are one of us. Let's go. I wonder what happened if I would have died. So do I win? Game over? I joined the cult. Is that literally the game was just Hangman? I wish you luck. Another one? Okay, here we go. So ambivalence. All right, so now let's get smart here. So let's go A. 
E, uh, gonna be an ah. Uh, uh. That annoying scream, so now we're gonna go O. Ooh. Double O is crazy. Let's go S, T. Good, glad that I changed it. I feel like there's an N at the end of the E, and that was completely wrong. It's kind of annoying me how he didn't take the one all the way to the left. Like, if we were playing Pong, for instance, I would have called Island, and I would have happily drank the one on the left. All right, so you want to play like this, do you? Oh, that's fine with me. Totally fine with me. Classic case of the U. Mm, I'm going to take my time thinking here. In between the T's could be... It could be an S. It could be like something like boot step. I'm going to go S. Okay. Oh, footstep. Excellent work. So amb now ambivalence are one of us. and footstep. I joined two cults. Look at this. I wish you luck. Do I just keep playing this? All right, so I'm convinced that you can play this just for eternity. So what I'm going to do is just like purposely lose. All right, so last one until we apparently die. So... I guess we'll go with Q. We know it's not going to be a Q. Oh no. He looks at me, looks Sorry, at the cup. But you didn't make the cut. Bottoms up. That's fine. Can't win them all. And cheers to that. So what happens? I shouldn't be screaming because if I drop dead, there's no reason I should be screaming. Thank you. Am I like a T-Rex? I just, I don't understand the screams. All right. All right. So this game is called One Chance. And I think like you have six days to live and you have to make the right choices in order to ensure that he has like a good rest of his life. I believe that's what it's about. But let's see. In six days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. There's the name of the title. Oh, okay. So I could do a bunch of things. Hurry up, honey. You'll be late for work. I can go into Molly's room. Today is a big day, get a move on. All right, so I'm a scientist. So what do scientists do? They shower, they take, they use the bathroom. All right, I guess I only have one thing I can do, which is apparently to leave. Uh, okay, we'll grab the paper. The Daily News, cancer cured. Yesterday, a team of scientists led by Dr. Pilgrim, that's me, cured cancer. The team had been working for a cure up to eight years. Okay, lots of stuff, they, okay, very nice. Let's get into our car and go to work. Very linear. All right, here I am. Want to drive as fast as possible. Hopefully, I don't hit anybody on the way. Beautiful. Got out of my car. Looks like my coworker. Greet him. Say what's up. Well, if it isn't okay, well, doesn't seem to like me too much. Well done, boss. Congratulations. This is a big step. Of course, it's a huge step. But I don't have time. We're gonna die in six days. I gotta get moving. We should go out for a drink. To no, no time for drinks. Are you guys crazy? Hello. Let's go into the lab because I have more work to do. Welcome to my lab. In five days, oh my god, a whole day just passed? I literally have done nothing. All I did was literally just pull, I just pushed the right arrow button. All right, so it's the next day now. Um, Maybe I'll go say hi to Molly, my daughter. Looks like she could use a hello. Mum's in the bath. That's all you have to contribute? Do you know how dire of a circumstance we're in right now? All right, so mom's in the bathroom, so I obviously have to see my whole family. The phone's been ringing all morning. Ugh. We don't have time for the phone. No, don't get your paper. We don't have time for this. No dilly-dallying. Let's go to work. Let's drive through. We're going to live that Squidward life where we just 24-7 just do these monotonous tasks. All right. We have arrived. Looks like my coworkers aren't outside, so there's no chance for them to interfere today. Hello, boss. The drug is dangerous? I don't believe it. We're going to get our funding pulled? I don't care. What do you guys have to say to me? Anything? There's nothing you could say to me that's important. It's not really as dangerous as they say it is. I am sure. I'm sure. All right, I'm going to actually go straight this time. Let's see some new faces here. Okay, I get it. Just ignore me. I'm going up to the roof, all right? Let's see what this guy's up to. He's probably got something valuable to say. Oh, God. John, what have we done? I've done the test a thousand times. 
It's so much worse than we thought. All right, you don't love hearing that. It's going to change everything in a good way, though, right? No, no. <gasps> what? Oh, no. Obama. In four days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. What am I supposed to do? I just watched my friend do something terrible to himself. Okay, well, I don't love that. Oh, come on. Do you really have to go in today? Yeah, I do have to go in because literally everything rests on what I do. Why don't I have to go to school today? Because you're going to literally die, all right? Do you want the truth? You're going to die. Uh, what does the paper say? The end is, is, is nigh. Yeah, well, it's true. The end is near. We're in our last couple of days now. Into the car, do our Squidward routine. Here we go. Yeah, same people. I see some picket fences. I guess, I don't know what you're protesting against. The drug. Either way, four days, we're gone. Am I the only sensible human here? There must be something. We, there's not Bruce. All right, we've ran the numbers. It's just, it is what it is. What's happened here? Where's everyone? Ryan, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I want to go back to the lab. Let's see if there's anything I can cook up. Call me on my Walter White. All right, yeah, I'll enter the lab. Okay, it's locked. Well, did what did I do wrong for you to lock me out? Here are my guys going to the roof. Hopefully we don't witness anything else bad. Don't worry, John, I'm not going to jump. I'd hope not. Although I don't suppose it matters now. Boss, come on now. Go home and be with your family, John. Anything else you want to say to me? Anything else? No, I was not attempting to jump, by the way. I was just seeing if I could do any action items. I, don't tell me I wasted time. <clears throat> going into the office just to be sent home. You're going home, Doc? You know what I am. Unless this door is open, then I gotta work. All right, we're working. Woo! Let's see. If every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead, you have one chance. So I guess I blew it there. I shouldn't have gone to work. What do you want me to do? You're still in bed. You need to get up and do something with your life. All right, there's my daughter. I'll give her a kiss goodbye. They say spend time with your family home. I mean, my family's fast asleep. Can I even go anywhere else now? All right, so goodbye to you, Molly. You've been no help to me. Uh, let's go into the bathroom. Of course, clothes on the ground. Nah, we don't care. We live in a pigsty, right? Whatever. Don't worry about me. Yeah, let's go outside. Paper, what do you have to say? 50% dead by the morning. Oh, no. John, we need you at the lab. Okay, I'm going. We could be onto something, but you understand if you want to be with your family. No, they're asleep. They don't care about me at all. I'm coming. I'm going to work, baby. Look, I passed all the traffic. I mean, he's pretty slow. He could easily just go through. There's just... Hey, you. Glad you could make it. Yeah, thanks, Annie. Appreciate it. You know, since this could be your last day on Earth, I mean to ask you something. What is it? Do you maybe want to get out of here? Oh, my gosh. What is she asking me to do? I'm not skipping work. I'm a family man. Don't ever do that. That's terrible. Time to work. Time to save humanity. There we are, just in the lab cooking something up. Nighttime, is this me coming home? Do not tell me I come home to bad news. Oh no, I do not like I do not like what's happening here. No! No! I'm absolutely devastated. My wife! who laid in bed every single day. You know what, good riddance. As long as Molly's healthy and fine, then I'm fine. Yes, Molly, what would you like, baby? Where's mummy, daddy? Okay, the Brits made this. All right, she's gonna be with me like my koala. How about we show her reality? There you go, Molly. That's what happened to mummy. I don't know where we buried mummy, but she's somewhere here. All right, let's, how about we get out of here and how about it's take your kid to work day. There's no newspaper, because that guy probably croaked. Now let's go to work. Hopefully we avoid uh, a car accident. There's only one car in the street. And there's a missing tire. I guess looting happens when there's disarray. Take Molly to the work or park? Uh, ch 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 so if I'm a good father, I take her to work. Because I want to cure everything so she could live longer. We could enjoy our last day in nature. Sorry. It's okay, don't worry about it. We could do that, but I think it's more valuable. Okay, so he's dead. Other people dead. Let's go to work. <coughs> Just me and Molly. Today, every single living cell on planet Earth will die. You had one chance. All right, I get it. I blew it. What did you want me to do? I went to work every single day. I did as much as I could do. So now we're here. I wake up. It's the final day. He 
He's, he's moving a bit slower than usual. Makes sense to me. Molly's room. Hi, Molly. I'll take you with me. Go into the bathroom. You can obviously see the bloodshed. This is our final day, so get a... Let's just take this in for a second. Your last day on Earth, what would you do? I would go to work. So here we go. Now, are they going to give me the option? All right, so there's nobody left besides me and Molly. I think I go to the park. I think we just take in nature. This is our probably last day together ever. Definitely sad, but I want you to enjoy the outside. As humans, we have to keep moving forward, and so I want to take you and sit on this bench made of trees that have also in the past died themselves, and we've repurposed them. There's Molly cuddling me in. And everything's going to be okay, because even if it's not, I mean, what's the alternative? If we're just soaking up this day, close your eyes, whatever happens, happens. Me and my daughter enjoying life. Life as we know it. Snow comes down. The trees will flourish again. Tis is life. The cycle that we're all living day to day. And in these final moments, everything is okay. Besides mommy. Mommy is absolutely destroyed. I don't know what happened to her, but something happened in that bathtub. Sorry I had to see that. So I guess that's the ending. I think I die. I think I like I died right there. So there is no true ending to this game, which is kind of like life. It's like a constant circle. You're just, you live, you die, and then, you know, you decompose, you go to heaven, your soul leaves your body, whatever you guys believe in, something happens, and that something is reflected here. And the only thing that matters is that you hug your mom, hug your family, tell them you love them, because you never know. Life is fragile, and so you should make sure you tell the people you love that you love them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.